everyone and welcome again to our channel at Jerome Study Abroad. Today I'm here with a really lovely partner from Canada. It's Caitlin. <laughs> Hello Caitlin. Hi Hi, how are you doing? So, um, Caitlin is our, one of our partners from um, Carleton University, all the way in Canada, um, in Ontario. Um, we have loads of inquiries for students who are looking to study in Canada. And um, I just thought I'd bring you in just to um, tell our audience a little bit about your courses, um, your university, and um, just to entice them, make them interested. So, um, I'm going to hand over the mic to you. <laughs> so. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, Thanks. it's great to be with you today and tell you a little bit more about our program. So as you gave me a lovely introduction, my name is Caitlin. I'm here representing the MBA programs at Carleton University. Um, so I'll start off by talking a little bit about our location. So Carleton is located in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Um, and Ottawa, for those of you who may not be familiar with Canada, Ottawa is our nation's capital. So there are a lot of really unique advantages for studies who are looking to set, study in a major G7 capital. Um, there are many, there are access to government and non-governmental organizations in our city because there are many organizations and businesses who will place either their headquarters or branches of their organization in our city just for the sole fact that we are the capital. Um, our metro population right now is about 1.4 million. So a lot of people say that Ottawa kind of gives you that big city feel without actually being in a big kind of crowded city. It is, there's lots of um, attractions and things for you to do outside of the classroom. We have a lot of festivals. Uh, the Rideau Canal as well, for those of you who are interested in skating, the Rideau Canal is the largest skating rink, um, and mm. we actually have an entrance right in our campus. So the Rideau Canal in the wintertime, it freezes over. Um, this year, it was actually, it was too warm to open, which was really sad. Wow. So, <laughs> I know, we had a really warm winter, so by the time all of uh, your students come next year and the years to come, they'll be able to skate on the canal. Um, wow. And we've also often been ranked uh, very highly for quality of living as well. Um, specifically now talking about the MBA program and the Sprott School of Business within Carleton University. Um, the Sprott School of Business, we're really fortunate to have our students come uh, and study with us at our school. Um, just last year in August, August of 2021, we opened the brand new Nickel Building. So that is our pride and joy as of right now, as it stands, mm. it's the newest building on campus. So wow. it's been really designed to be high flex, high technology, lots of networking spaces for students um, and opportunities to really mold the classroom into whatever it is that our professor is wanting to facilitate that day. So it's really easy to go from lecture to uh, conversations with your classmates because we know that that's so important for our students. Um, we are definitely no stranger to having uh, loads of international students join our programs. Um, as of right now, I believe the for the school, our school comprises about 26% of international students from a large number of different areas. So it's always really great for students to be able to connect with other students from uh, a lot of other, lot other of countries. Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh. Yeah, um, so that's a little bit about our school. Um, I'll go into our MBA program specifically, if you'd like. Um, um, I'd, I'd like to ask um, a few questions. Yeah. So, um, um, in terms of your MBAs, do you have any specializations or is it just a plain MBA or? Yeah. Um, I, I did read on the website that you've got a new course that you've just launched besides the MBA. Yes. Yeah. This year we launched the Master of Finance program. Um, so <laughs> that, that is its own individual program. And the things that make that program unique is that the program is designed to combine strong elements of data analytics and financial management together. Oh, In addition, wow. the program is also meant to guide students, uh, put them on a pathway to a, a CFA designation, which is a Chartered Financial Analyst. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, and that, that that as well is another course, which is you know not another area in terms of um, employment that's really really high as well. Yeah, exactly. So um, I, I think these courses are actually very very good. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, with regards to international students, um, 
do you have um, students who come from are they African students? You know, I know you have said you've got some, but specifically just for for the purpose of this, have yes. you have you got have you got African students? Yes, um, we because do, sometimes yeah. stu students are a bit um, worried sometimes that yeah. they're just not going to have you know people like them when they get on yes. campus. So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, we have a large number of students that join us from Africa every year, um, mm -hmm. typically like Nigeria and now Ghana are be starting to become uh, some of our most sought after destinations. So we, uh, they're definitely in our top three or five for uh, the number of students that we get from each region. So there's definitely a uh, large number of students from Africa who join us every year. Okay, great. Um, you did mention um about the um work experience. Um, is this work experience? Is it, it's like an internship, and um, yeah. is it an internship where the students just work, or is there any opportunity at all for them to get paid, or rewarded for the work? Yeah, certainly. So, um, our goal is to always place students in paid internships. Um, mm -hmm. So that's always the goal for us. Um, we are very fortunate to have two professional development coordinators as part of the professional development team, specifically within the Sprott School of Business. So they're not serving everybody. They're not serving the undergrads. They're serving specifically our MBA students and a few other professional programs as well. Um, mm -hmm. But st students certainly have the freedom to um, make connections with employers and seek out work experience that is of interest to them. Uh, mm -hmm. But we also have those resources there to help students connect with the different organizations uh, in our city. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, besides the actual study bits, um, what mm -hmm. else can students do on campus? Is there, yeah. you know, Definitely. There's um, so Carleton as a whole, we're about a medium sized institution, which our total population is about 35,000 students, which is a lot of students. Uh, uh, and, uh, and you call that medium? That, that is, yes. that is yes. that's, yes. big, that's big enough. <laughs> yes. yes, but I mean, uh, it's medium compared to Canadian institutions. Um, mm. But a lot of students means that there's a lot of things to do. So we have a large number of clubs and societies that students can join. Um, I think at one point, and hopefully we still are, Carleton had the largest number of clubs out of any Canadian institution. So wow. we're definitely, our students are very involved. Um, specifically, specific business opportunities that students can take advantage of. Um, we have what's called the Sprott Student Consulting Group. Um, mm -hmm. And this is a club that students can join that they can use for academic credit if they want. Students can complete their internship with the, with the club, or you can simply just volunteer as well. And the goal mm -hmm. with this organization is to, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that, is to um, connect with uh, organizations, real world organizations to help. Yeah, certainly. So um, our goal is to always place students in paid internships. Um, mm -hmm. So that's always the goal for us. Um, we are very fortunate to have two professional development coordinators as part of the professional development team, specifically within the Sprott School of Business. So they're not serving everybody. They're not serving the undergrads. They're serving specifically our MBA students and a few other professional programs as well. Um, mm -hmm. But st students certainly have the freedom to um, make connections with employers and seek out work experience that is of interest to them. Uh, mm -hmm. But we also have those resources there to help students connect with the different organizations uh, in our city. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, besides the actual study bits, um, what mm -hmm. else can students do on campus? Is there, yeah. you know, Definitely. There's um, so Carleton as a whole, we're about a medium sized institution, which our total population is about 35,000 students, which is a lot uh, of students. Uh, and, uh, and you call that medium? That, that is, yes. that is uh, yes. that's, yes. that's big enough. <laughs> yes. yes, but I mean, uh, it's medium compared to Canadian institutions. Uh, mm. But a lot of students means that there's a lot of things to do. So we have a large number of clubs and societies that students can join. Um, I think at one point, and hopefully we still are, Carleton had the largest number of clubs out of any Canadian institution. So wow. we're definitely, our students are very involved. Um, specifically, specific business opportunities that students can take advantage of. Um, we have what's called the Sprott Student Consulting Group. Um, mm -hmm. And this is a club that students can join that they can use for academic credit if they want. Students can complete their internship with the, with the club, or you can simply just volunteer as well. And the goal mm -hmm. with this organization is to <clears throat> uh, 
uh, sorry about that, is to um, connect with uh, organizations, real world organizations to help solve real world problems. So some examples of some organizations that our students have worked with. Uh, last summer, a group of our students worked with an airline called Air North. Uh, that's okay. based in the Yukon, uh, but they mm -hmm. were working with our team in Ottawa. And this mm -hmm. airline really, um, kind of suffered greatly during COVID-19. So they turned mm -hmm. to our students to help uh, with their strategies on how to get back up and running. And so mm -hmm. our students uh, proposed a lot of different strategies for them, including a regular cleaning schedule. They provided updates on the airline situation um, very regularly. And together they were able to kind of solve the problem together and uh, provide the organization with a lot of great resources to move forward. Okay, yeah. that, that, that seems quite promising. <laughs> Yes, yeah, uh, it's definitely it's really uh, great. Uh, uh, and at least it provides them an opportunity um, for yeah, the course. students to actually do some work. Um, in terms mm -hmm. of um, credits, so when you say, because most Nigerian universities don't really use a credit system. So yeah. you're saying that a student can work and then that will be used towards their graduation yeah. credits? Okay. Yes, exactly. So they can participate in this club. Uh, mm -hmm. as a way to earn academic credits that is basically kind of an alternative to being in a lecture and okay. as part of your, oh. uh, your graduation requirements. Hmm. Oh, that seems interesting. Some, some students will, will actually opt for that. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And in terms of like facilities on campus, do you, you know, what kind of extra extracurricular activities have you got? Like, yeah, you know, sports? So, yeah, lots of sports mm. for sure. Um, so with the your tuition, students will get access to our fitness facilities. So we have a mm. full gym, an Olympic sized swimming pool, two indoor skating rinks um, nice. that are often open to students. If you'd like mm. to do a free skate inside or you'd like to do morning swims, that's certainly open to you. Um, we have, yeah, just general gym equipment as well. So the gym is readily available to students, um, mm. whether you're living on or off campus. Mm -hmm. um, and lots of clubs as well and sports teams, if you'd like to join, we have varsity and competitive and intramural leagues as well. So basically any sport that you're interested in will most likely have a team at some level at Carleton. Mm. Uh, 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 those are the things students are very interested in because <laughs> they like to, you know, they'd like to hope that they've got a university that's an actual university, that's exactly. got facilities, that's got community, yeah. Um, yeah. somewhere where, where they can thrive and hopefully get employment as soon as they're finished. Um, so I, I believe with everything you've said, a lot of these things do tick the boxes for what the student, yeah. I do think you've got... Um, very exciting courses and um, can't wait to invite our um, viewers to start yes. sending in applications so Amazing. if you're looking if you're looking for an opportunity to study in Canada um, do hit us up at Drum Study Abroad and um, so we can help you start your application and hopefully you would see Caitlin on yes. campus very soon yes. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time and um, I can't wait to bring you for a live session soon um, yes. So we can have a Q&A where the students can actually ask you questions and um, by themselves, actually. Um, so yeah, thank you. So, thank, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Um, yeah. All right, then. OK. All right, then. You Take care. Bye.